Hello friends, myself R.A.D. Mazin presenting my video on the topic exact differential equation. Let us see the first example. Solve dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y whole divided by sin x plus x cos y plus x equal to 0. As we know that every equation we can write in the form of m dx plus n dy equals to 0. Therefore, cross multiplying it, we get y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx plus sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equals to 0. And then comparing this with the general form of exact differential equation m dx plus n dy equals to 0, we get Therefore, we get the value of m, it is the coefficient of dx and here the coefficient of dx is y cos x plus sin y plus y and n coefficient of dy, here it is sin x plus x cos y and plus x. Here both m and n are functions of x and y. And then to check whether it is exact or not, uh, we have to obtain partial derivative of m with respect to y, keeping x constant. Therefore, differentiating each and every term with respect to y, the derivative of the first term is cos x. Derivative of second term is cos y. And derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Do n by do x, differentiating n with respect to x partially, keeping y constant. Therefore, derivative of sin x is cos x. Uh, in that x cos y, cos y constant term taking outside. And derivative of x is 1, therefore, it is cos y. And derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And if you see these two terms, we get dou m by dou y is equal to dou m by dou x as dou m by dou y is equal to dou m by dou x. Therefore, given equation is exact differential equation. And as it is exact differential equation, we perform that two steps to find its solution. In the first step, integration of m with respect to x, integration of uh, the terms of m are y cos x plus sin y and plus y and its integration with respect to x. With respect to x, y is constant term outside. Uh, integration of cos is sin x. Uh, sin y plus y, both are constant term, therefore taking outside. And integration of dx is x. We call this as equation 1. Then, second step, terms in n. free from x and then its integration with respect to y. Uh, containing x, containing x, containing x, therefore there is no any term which is free from x 
and therefore no term and therefore its integration with respect to y as there is no term its integration is zero we call it as equation 2 and therefore the solution is equation 1 plus equation 2 and then we equate it to c and therefore that solution is y sin x plus x sin y plus x y equals to constant c is the required solution and if you try to find its total derivative if we get the same differential equation then it is exact which already we have checked using this condition second example solve 1 plus e raised to x by y into dx plus e raised to x by y in bracket 1 minus x by y into dy equals to 0. Therefore, whenever we have to solve any differential equation, first always we check for exact, whether it is exact or not. If it is not exact, then we go for linear. If it is not linear, then we go for reducible to linear in that way. And therefore, uh, comparing uh, given differential equation is 1 plus e raised to x by y into dx plus e raised to x by y 1 minus x by y comparing with m dx plus n dy equals to 0 it implies coefficient of dx is m therefore here m is 1 plus e raised to x by y and n coefficient of dy here the coefficient of dy is e raised to x by y in bracket 1 minus x by y and then to check whether it is exact or not we find partial derivative of m with respect to y keeping x constant uh, one constant term is derivative is 0 uh, derivative of this e raised to x by y with respect to y hmm. therefore e raised to x by y is derivative is e raised to x by y applying chain rule differentiation of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square therefore it becomes minus x by y square that is value of dou m by dou y then differentiating n with respect to x keeping y constant uh, it is in the form of product therefore applying product rule first term e raised to x by y derivative of this term with respect to x it is minus 1 by y plus second term as it is 1 minus x by y and derivative of this e raised to x by y is e raised to x by y chain rule derivative of x by y with respect to x is 1 by y and then simplifying it therefore it is minus 1 by y e raised to x by y plus 1 by y e raised to x by y and minus x by y square into e raised to x by y. Uh, this two terms get cancelled and therefore it is equals to minus x by y square e raised to x by y. And therefore, dou m by dou y and dou n by dou y, dou n by dou x are same. And therefore, dou m by dou y is equals to dou n by dou x. And therefore, 
given equation is exact differential equation and as it is exact differential equation we apply the steps to find its solution the point first step we find the integration of m with respect to x it is integration of 1 plus e raised to x by y with respect to x it is equal to integrating each term with respect to x integration of dx is x integration of this e raised to x by y is e raised to x by y and coefficient of x is 1 by y therefore divided by 1 by y uh, we call it equation 1 then second step terms in n which are free from x which we have to integrate with respect to y and therefore it is it is with x second term is also with x therefore no term which is free from x and therefore its integration with respect to y is 0 and therefore the solution is equation 1 plus equation 2 and then we equate it to C and therefore equation 1 is x 1 upon 1 by y base it is y e raised to x by y second equation is 0 and that is equal to constant C is the required solution is the required solution therefore in this video also I have discussed two examples of exact differential equation or exact type some more I will discuss in next part if you are watching my videos please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for latest updates thank you Thank you very much.